break me off, I have to up, yeah Cause they're a point to all these fancy clothes With all this buckles from your head down to your toes Very simple, but I'm just another girl Thanks for joining us. I'm Calista Solon and this is NLC Trans. I'm here tonight with my usual co-host and dear friend, Tara Alexander. Um, we were supposed to have Brett Bernardini on the show tonight, but um, once again, I'm afraid he stood us up. <laughs> um, there's a possibility he may show up, so we're, we're still sort of hopeful. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, we're going to just kind of go with it um, nonetheless. We got a bunch of stuff up we wanted to talk about. First, before we go too much farther, I wanted to um, I wanted to thank um, John Finnegan and um, <laughs> who is with the uh, New London People's Forum, yep. and uh, Lawrence and Memorial Hospital. I wanted to thank them. They they um, last weekend was um, was Hartford Pride, and we had a booth there which we're going to tell you all about. But um, but uh, Lawrence and Memorial and John Finnegan provided us with a bunch of condoms to give away, which we did more or less successfully, <laughs> um, among other things. So going to have sex, be safe about it. That's right. So that was good. That was really nice of them, and, um, and thank you very much to uh, Lawrence and Memorial and John Finnegan. And in fact, we're going to be having, um, not next week, two weeks from tonight, I believe, we're having... Um, yeah, I believe it's two weeks from tonight. The 24th. Because next week we're having uh, Ron Suresha back on, Yep. Um, author, and a really uh, fun guy. Um, we saw him up at, um, in fact, up at Hartford Pride, and uh, he's yep. going to be on next week. Um, he was so, there with Combine Nation. And I'm hoping that, because he does a lot of, um, of reviewing, he, he was uh, going to be reviewing a bunch of um, um, transgender books. And, oh, uh, and I'm not sure if he'll be able to talk. If he hasn't done that yet, he probably won't be able to talk about it. But I'm hoping that at this point he'll actually be able to talk about that, which is kind of cool. Um, so he's going to be on. And the following week, we're having um, from the uh, New London People's Forum, yep. um, we're having Constance on. Um, she's a real sweetheart and a lot of fun, and, um, and that should be a good show. I think she's a little nervous, but she's, 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 a, a, she's a really fun character and, um, and really sweet, and so we're going to have her on. We need you to call us. in and tell her what a, uh, how nice it is to have her on, be supportive. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. She's really, she's really great, and, um, and she's, she was the one that got us connected with the New London People's Forum, which yeah. is a really nice bunch. Um, yeah, she's real big into, into, into networking, making sure people and groups mm -hmm. are connected, and yeah, it's really good. So that's really cool. Um, anyway, we had um, so we had uh, our Hartford Pride. That was really we were cool at Bushnell in the shadow of the Capitol. Yeah, it was really neat. Um, it's a nice. That's a very nice park. We um, we of course managed to be right in front of the stage, which was a little <laughs> loud, which was a little loud. But uh, but it was a nice location. So we got to see all the acts and um, and. I can honestly say that my life is now complete. I have seen Tiffany in concert. <laughs> Oh, God. Tiffany, I don't know if any of probably you don't know who Tiffany is. Tiffany was around when, when my daughter, when my, when my daughter was very, a teenager. Tiffany was around, and my daughter was a big fan yep. of Tiffany's. But um, Tiffany was a mall singer, I think. And, um, and so, anyway, it was kind of, it was amusing. She did a lot of, uh, her, her early work was a lot of covers. And, yeah. And uh, reimagining old songs. And yeah. She and Debbie Gibson were right on the charts about the same time. Mm. So that was kind of amusing. Yeah. <laughs> 
But anyway, it was a good time. We met a lot of really nice people. We met a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people there. It was really good. Um, we signed up a bunch of people for our group, and, um, and we got some guests, um, potential guests. guests for the show, yep. which was really cool. Um, but it was a good time, and the weather was beautiful, and, um, and we saw just a huge number of people there. Weather was more than beautiful. There, by, by mid-afternoon, there were several lobsters walking around. Yeah, I got a little sunburn myself. You got a little sunburn, just yes. A little, yeah. But there, there were people that were beat red by 5 o'clock. There were a lot of really cool characters there. Uh, it was, it was some really fun people there. It was just, it was a, it was, um, it was just kind of a big party. But um, The um, uh, slight tangent, the, the show What Not to Wear, the, um, the, 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 the guy that hosts that, that show? I don't. His last name, I think, is Kelly. Okay. Um, he was, um, there was a small interview with him that I had read, and they, they were asking him about appropriate fashion for pride events. Really? <laughs> and he said, it's pride, anything goes. Anything goes. Well, and I have to tell you, we saw just about everything. <laughs> just about everything. It was cool. I liked the tutus. <laughs> and the, the hot tutus. pink hot shorts. The hot, oh, that was, um, that was very interesting. Yeah. Guy with hot pink hot shorts and nothing else. <laughs> anyway. See, if it was New York, we wouldn't have had that. We wouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> but it was cool. It was a good time. And, um, and uh, I think we, uh, we connected with a lot of people, which was yeah, really there, nice. There, there were a lot of people that, um, that kept coming back and talking to us and asking more questions. And it was, it was really nice to um, be able to actually help educate some people, too. Yeah. Yeah. And feed them. We fed them, too. We fed, was, oh, boy, did we yeah, feed them. Which was... That's, that's our way of bribing. I I <laughs> if there's one thing we do well, it's feed people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your, your 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 mini cheesecakes were a huge success, and I'm afraid they're they're gonna they're gonna be a part of future pride events. Yeah. There was one little boy who I'm sure didn't eat Ooh. his dinner. <laughs> Two little boys that, that brothers, yes. Yeah, that kept coming back for chocolate chip cookies and cheesecake, and yes. again and again and again. A fistful <laughs> at a time. <laughs> they were cute, though. Yes. They were very cute. So, But that was fun. Um, they had face painting and the henna artist and all yeah. kinds of informational booths and vendor booths. And yeah. It really is a nice park. Um, and we ended up being situated right between our friends Unity up from Massachusetts and the Sovereign Court of All Connecticut. Yeah, which was very cool. So we got um, right there next to the stage. We got a lot of attention. We got a lot of uh, people that wandered over while they were listening to the music. Yeah. It was good. It was a good time. Um, we certainly will do it again next year. There's a whole bunch of Pride events. So, you know, I, I would like to make all of them, but, <laughs> you know, it's hard. Um, it's hard to get everything into the schedule. Um, we if, got, if you want to go to all the Pride events, you're going to need a lot of gasoline and to give yeah, up the month of June. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. I mean, we got, Boston's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, Boston Pride is, um, they actually do a week-long set of events, but the major Pride events are the 13th and 14th. Um, I believe the parade is on the 13th, and then they have a couple of block parties scheduled on Sunday the 14th um, in Boston, and I think it was Jamaica Plains. Jamaica Plains. Um, the Providence Film Festival starts on the 17th of June and runs for a while, I lose it on my calendar. <laughs> mm. um, I have 17th to the 20th, maybe. Rhode Island Pride um, is the 19th and 20th and 21st, along with um, New York Pride starts the 20th and runs through the 28th. So there's 10 days of Pride. Mm. The Norwalk Pride event is also on the 20th. And then, fortunately, Vermont Pride and uh, Worcester Pride have been pushed out to July and September. Southern Maine Pride also runs the 14th to the 20th. Mm. It's a huge, huge month. Yeah. Well, it is. Um, it is officially. Um, it is officially um, Pride Month. 